Bitcoin, since that needs sovereign funds, what allocation would you put into Bitcoin? Just one. Bitcoin, which is the granddaddy digital asset, everybody knows that. What would you allocate if you could? And they said, well, we can't because our compliance department won't allow it because the SEC hasn't ruled on it yet, and Larry Fink doesn't like it, and he's our biggest money manager, and all those other reasons, but they would allocate 50 to 100 basis points. Now, when you're running a trillion-dollar mandate or an $800 billion mandate, which is some of the size of these funds, that's a ton of money, and that's a huge amount of demand that would come into the market. And as Bitcoin prices went past that 1% allocation, let's say, they'd sell it back down to 1%. But just importantly, if it dropped below 1%, they'd buy it back up. So there'd be an internal bid forever. The volatility would drop dramatically. There'd be price appreciation in Bitcoin. It would be good for everybody involved in crypto. But we can't do it without policy. And so everybody should just get off this let's be rogue, let's be crypto cowboys. Forget all that crap. It's time to get this real and get a tremendous amount of capital going into crypto because it's policy and it gets regulated and it's good for everybody.